Hello and welcome along. Here I'm going to be introducing you to the new Active Directory migration project, which is available inside BitTitan's migration with. I'm going to be showing you how to create a new Active Directory project, link it up to the source and target environments, and then we will do a migration. We're going to pull some objects across from the source into the target. I'm going to show you how exactly it's done on the SAS console inside migration with and really how easy it is to move those objects from one to another without the need for having any linkages between them. There's no trust involved. There's no network connectivity between the two AD environments. It is purely driven from the migration with console. So let me show you how we go about doing that. So the first thing you'll notice here is we now have an Active Directory migration project as a project type. We can select on the main front screen here. So we're going to go into that. And uh, you'll be familiar with this if you've used migration with before about how easy it is to set these up. So we just go ahead and put a, a project name and a customer in here. Like so, and hit next step. Now, the way we configure the endpoints is we have an agent on both the source and the target environments, and that is loaded onto a machine that can view a DC or is a DC, whatever you choose for that. But the important thing is having this API key, which we'll copy to our clipboard for later. It's the same API key for both source and destination. So really go ahead and download the, the agents, get them onto those local machines, and, uh, and we'll continue with the, the next step here. As you can see, it's the same API key for the, uh, the target. Now we do need to specify what region we want to keep the data in. This is just for uh, where it's keeping the, the SAS information. We'll just choose West US for this one. You can specify your own Azure data source as well if you need to. Uh, but we'll go ahead now and hit save, go to summary. And that will just go ahead and save project there, like so. Now we're ready to configure the agents on both the source and the target and get some of these objects into the console. On the source AD, then, you can see I've got an OU set up here with MIGFROG Jan 2024, some accounts in here, and various accounts if we look at this. One here, you can see it's got the information set up like so. So we're going to migrate these accounts. I've also got some groups set up in there, which we're going to bring across as well. So this is our, our point we want to scan and bring over. So what we'll do is we'll get that agent configured. And I'll do that just by bring that up, drop that out the way. And there's a couple of steps we need to do in here. But firstly, obviously, accept that. The first one is the log on to the BitTitan console itself. This is your normal uh, BT logon that you'd use. Next, it will then ask us about the API key. That was the one I was referring to just a little earlier. And the name of the project as well. We've got those two in. Hit next. That'll go and validate those for us. And then we'll be looking at the credentials needed on the local AD. So you can see I've got a service account set up here with a password. The domain, we're going to keep it at the top level. Um, and in the other videos, I wanted to go a bit deeper. I explain a bit more about why we would go a little bit deeper with this. But for now, we'll just keep it at the, the top level here. And hit next. What that'll do now is it will go ahead and scan the uh, the AD structure, and you can see it's given us these items here. I want to go down a little bit because the ones I want to bring in is not obviously everything. I actually want to bring in this whole Jan 2024 area with all the sub OUs, as you can see, and that comes from that MIG frog at the top. So we'll do that and hit the scan and transmit. And that will find all those items, discover those objects for us, and they'll end up in the console. You can see there it sent 31 objects, which is good. I can hit finish on this one. I'm done with this now and go over to our console again. So by doing a refresh here, we should see some people appear and there we go. There's our items. You can see the target OU that they're going to end up in, which is uh, the same structure as what we had on the source. That's what we want to achieve on the target. So now let's go and configure our target to go and receive the information. So a very similar configuration here. We just hit accept there. The same again, now log on to the console. So next and validate that. And then the API key and the project name like we had before too. And then onto the credentials we need for the target AD environment. You can see obviously the domain I'm using the top of the tree again and with our service account. So once we hit next there, it will then move into a cycle of the heartbeat, which is 300 seconds. You can see it's now counting down. This is how, how often it goes to contact the console for work to do. Effectively. And we, you can also kick it off straight away. If you click on this, it will actually go and look straight away. But this is now ready to receive that information. So let's go back to our console now. 
I'd like to just mention the transformation options we have on these accounts. You can either let it have the source object UPN that it will recreate in the target, or if there is a slightly different way that you have them represented in the target, you can select that here and it will transform those objects for you. So this one will leave the same, but it's a good option to have. And the target OU is obviously the, the structure that it picked up from the source. If you do want to change that slightly, you can click there and you can edit those and edit multiple at the same time if you need to. But for this one, we're going to leave it the same. But what I'll do now is I'm going to select everybody and we're going to say that we are allowed to write those to the target. And it'll use a few licenses there and hit start migration, 31 accounts. So let's go ahead with that. And we go over to our destination. Now, what I will do is I'm going to hit the get objects now and it will trigger that to start. And you can see it'll go ahead and collect that information that it needs off those. And as you can see there, it's right in those objects. Now, it happens pretty quickly. But we'll just pause for a second on this and let them all complete. And there we are. So I'll just drop this out of the way. Let's have a look at the AD setup here. Now, if we look at here, you can see I need to do a refresh, but we are expecting, there we are, there's our MIG frog, which has come in, and there's our structure that's been created. So you can see these accounts that we had. If we look at this one we had looked at earlier for Kai. You can see it's pulled over that information with all the address and account and organization, as we would expect. Now you are free to move these around. If you do a, a subsequent push, let's say we grab some more data off the source and we um, perform an update on these accounts, what it will do is it will continue to match based on the object grid of the object itself and therefore it doesn't require it to be recreated so if we move this one let's say we move sophia out to a, a particular ou there and we resynced her it wouldn't try and recreate her in this it would obviously match to where we've moved her to so that's a, a good option to have if you want to start uh, positioning these accounts in the target ou where you want them to reside finally now the last thing i want to show you just uh, quickly one of the nice features here is once I finish these uh, migrations, what I can do is I can grab any of these users. I'm just going to grab four as an example here, and I can push those objects across. If I say export project, I can take them into another project over here, which might be a, a mail migration project. It could be a OneDrive migration project. It doesn't matter. The point is, is that we can grab those and take those line items, as you can see there, and push them over. So if I look at TCG demo now, you can see there's the four that I pushed over. So it's quite easy to move those around. But anyway, that's uh, very good. Thank you for watching. Very quick demonstration of the new AD migration project inside MigrationWiz. And we hope you can check it out soon. Thank you.